The countdown is on for something in the water and we found something next to the water today. The main stage. You are taking a live look at the ocean front. Crews will be back at work to put together the pieces there. Here are some of the artists who will be taking the stage during the three day event. All different genres are represented here. Charlottesville's own Dave Matthews band, Migos, Janelle Monet, and of course, Virginia Beach native Pharrell Williams. Now we did a quick check of hotel rooms left at the ocean front. No surprises here. There aren't many left and those that are open. Well, they're pretty pricey. The cheapest one we found was the Hampton Inn South at $471 a night. Now Airbnb's they are in short supply too. They report 68% of homes on the south side have been booked for the weekend of the festival. But Chinu Her found a third option that's getting some attention. This idea didn't take much convincing. Not at all. If you know me, you know I come up with stuff like this all the time. And Zaya Dunna is all about it. I mean, it's definitely, it was something that we decided to do. It was like, you know, an idea that sort of popped in our heads. The idea popped up right in time for something in the water and soon, hopefully, customers will start popping into the tent city to stay for the music festival. Tent City being her backyard in Deep Creek, Chesapeake, where people can find on Airbnb. We could probably accommodate, if you have a two, like a small two people tent, we could accommodate at least 30 of those tents in my backyard. Her backyard is nearly 30 miles from the oceanfront, but Zaya already has that figured out for her potential guests who will stay at her temporary campground. And if you are looking for a really laid back opportunity to have affordable an affordable stay for the festival, somewhere where you're gonna be able to take care, get your transportation taken care of and get some free meal, maybe meet some really cool people like we are welcoming anybody. And on top of that, she says she will also have security on site to make sure guests are safe. They'll be checking to make sure that the people that have booked you know, are here because I mean, my neighbors, I don't want my neighbors just having, you know, random people like out in, in the neighborhood as well. And if all goes well, she thinks this could be an idea to carry on to next year. This is just really a place to come back, relax, chill out, get a vibe and get ready for the festival for the next day. All right, Chinu is live at the Tent City tonight. And Chinu, you're a self-described terrible outdoorsman, but <laughs> do you think you could show us around one of those tents? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. First of all, Nicole, that is no secret. I'm a horrible outdoorsman. Uh, Zaya, the host, actually asked me to help her set up some of these tents earlier. That didn't go too well, but uh, she will be providing tents just like this one. You notice this is a bigger one with a few sleeping bags in here, and those will also be provided uh, by Zaya, the host. Now, this is just one of the options. There are also smaller tents uh, over here. This is our host right here. Uh, there are also smaller tents like this around here. Again, she will be providing those along with the bonfire and the board games like there are on the ground right here. Now, also important to note, uh, the host will also be providing uh, portable bathrooms as well as showers. And if you're interested in learning more about this property or renting this for the music festival, we have a link to the Airbnb page on our website, 13newsnow.com. And I love that they're playing Pharrell's yeah. happy there in the background. Quite <laughs> appropriate there tonight. Thanks, Janelle.